So you're looking to get into Logitech Sim Racing Speed, or maybe you already have it, which I highly recommend. But I'm going to show you guys the deep customization with G Hub that you can do with your Logitech wheels and products to enhance your experience to what you could do in racing games. Now, I have this travel limit solar crown here, for example. Let's take a look at what we could do with G Hub to customize our experience for the better. Say hello to G Hub. Now, this is where I have all of my Logitech products all lined up for me, and I have immense customization to what I can do. For example, turning off my lights with a simple press of my keyboard. But let me show you what you can do with your wheel. Now, for example, here I got the Logitech Pro wheel. You guys can see when I rotate it, you can see it show up on the screen, so we know everything's working properly. Here are the best settings I have, by the way. Highly recommend it. Dampener I have at 10 strength. I normally have it a little bit less, uh, despite its maximum being 11 newtometers. The first five. The force feedback filter I have at 11, but the one thing you want to know is true force. This enhances your experience. Let me turn it up. And you might notice, you can feel the engine. I hope my mic can pick it up. But that, like, engine rumble, it can be felt directly in the wheel and it just it's crazy i have it at 10 but i highly recommend honestly if you want to turn it up and see what it can do trust me it can do some nice things now of course i also have the dual uh clutch paddles which i have set to access a and access b you can also have it set to maybe your brake clutch handbrake but for me because i have indicators in this game i actually have them set to work as my left indicator and my right indicator like so that's for that little added immersion in this game but hey maybe you're like i don't have that in the game alex well let me show you what you can do instead let's say the game doesn't allow you to put in such input well if you go over to assignments what you can actually do is now choose what this can be now you have keys for example so maybe the w and v on my keyboard is going to be my left and right indicator well very simply i can just drag this and put it anywhere and because i also have a shifter you can have complete customization over this even if you want to affect your lighting for streamers hey when you shift up maybe you want to have the light in your back well hey maybe when i shift up i can make it turn green or turn on or something like that you know make it more interactive if you know what i'm saying but of course you also have macros actions systems there's a lot that you can actually do maybe we want to have something like will that can record or that can record a stream button right away volume up volume down it's a lot now pedals of course when i press them you guys can see their sensitivities there brake force and light sync so i can change how it works I can, I can even go custom and i can choose exactly how the colors work if i wanted to go into out left to right inside out oh my god i can do the whole shebang so that's pretty cool and of course the same thing is applied for the rs shifter take a look at this again uh which one there we go you guys can see i have it set to handbrake and if i switch the button i can choose the shift sensitivity or the handbrake sensitivity and of course just like everything else you got the macros where you can control everything but the best thing is if you want to save it i can now switch to my profile and go to this and now all my settings are now saved every time i open up test driver the missile the crown and you might have saw my lights turn off because well that's if i go back to desktop this is my settings that are currently saved. So pretty cool. I feel like G-Hub is very advanced. I'm going to wait for my keyboard to turn back on. I think it's somewhere here. You also have community, for example. Maybe you don't want to take the time to customize your uh, macros or anything else. Well, there are people out there that share everything from the sound you want to use to uh, microphone presets, uh, equalized presets. There is a lot i'm sure there's also one for vehicles sorry not vehicles but wheels as well but they got everything guys and of course the whole logic suite can do the same thing the keyboards as well very customizable trust me on that and of course you have games and applications here we go profiles again macros integration settings if i click on tdsc i can quickly swap modifest as well i could do and then to go back to my desktop just like so so if you guys have any questions and you want to check out g-hub all the links are down in the comment section below huge shout out to logitech for sponsoring this video as well so that being said i don't know about you but my life now is very easy to drive around in games and get set up in a set of corsa maybe i want to switch over to tdsc modifest very easily play more work less and that is the motto i want to put in uh, uh okay a bit hard to drift all-wheel drive i'm alex seven and i'm out guys peace